What's up guys, Takedown back with another story time video. I really hope you guys are enjoying this series and if you do, please give them a thumbs up, whichever ones you watch and you guys enjoy, and subscribe for more in the future. I'm trying to do this as a weekly video. Just a warning before I start this one, it is about to get gross. It's going to be a short video I assume, but it's going to be really gross. So if you don't like um, extremely gross descriptive content, Click out of this video, I will not be mad at all. Before you leave though, please give a thumbs down just so I know how many people backed out just because it's gross and that will make me not want to do a gross one in the future. But this is 100% true, like all my story times are and will be going forward. Um, I know there's probably questions on that, but it's, it's true, it's my life and that's how I can do it with this straight face because I suck at acting. But... Um, if you're still here, you're probably interested, so let's just get gross and get into the story time. So, this is the 11th or 12th grade that this happened. And a little backstory. Whenever I was sick in high school, even to this day at work, when I'm sick, whether it's a cold or the flu, like if I have a sore throat, I don't consider that being sick, so I'll go to school and work. But whenever I had the cold or a flu, I would not want to go to school, not go to work. And I just don't. I don't believe in it because number one, you're not only going to get feel like crap the whole day and be sick the whole day, but you're also going to get either classmates sick or coworkers sick if you're at work. It's just, it's stupid. You shouldn't be going to work or school when you are sick and actually sick. I don't mean faking it. I mean actually sick. You should not go to work or be around people. You should take care of yourself. Um, but in high school, I would not. I would never... I would, I, would, I would always stay home as long as my parents were okay with it. I would stay home and I'd always play it off like it's worse than it is. But that's because I don't believe in going to school when I'm sick. Um, but anyways, back into the story time. So there was one day I had the flu. The flu. And I went to school. Worst mistake in my life. Um, I regret it. Because what happens next is embarrassing. And I can't remember if people actually remember this or not. And like, I don't know if people will remember this if, unless they watch this. But there's a computer lab. There's four computers. Then there's a printer. And that's kind of our area where my friends went to because that's the quietest. It's right next to the librarian. It's in the computer lab at the library. And then there's a wall of computers over here. And then there's more down at the back. Right in front here. Cause the reason I'm showing like this is because this is where I was sitting. Let's say this is where I'm sitting, where it happened. There's a little window because the room right here is one of those small rooms. It's kind of like a teacher help room. So that was her office. Actually, two of them joined the office anyways. Pointless details, but details. Um, and I was sick with the flu. And I remember I'm sitting there. I'm like, ah, uh, I'm on the computer. Then I'm doing my paperwork. And I'm just like, fuck. Then all of a sudden, it happened. Meanwhile, the class is full, by the way, of people. I'm just there like this. I look up. I'm like, I don't feel... I didn't finish this sentence. I was going to say I don't feel good, but I didn't finish the sentence. I'm like, I don't feel... <laughs> like, oh, fuck. Almost threw up there just thinking of it. This friend here... Or sorry, th the friend that was on the right of me fucking got up. And fucking booked it out the class. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I would have done the same thing. But yeah, that was hilarious. And then this friend just took their stuff and they backed up. Meanwhile, I puked all over the freaking computer. All over this window. That's inside, not the outside window. The fucking window. All over it. All over the work. Didn't get much on the my binder, though. I told you it's going to get fucking gross. Bear with me. And I'm just there like, oh, fuck. I feel a little bit better. But I'm like, oh, fuck. Fuck, in the library, oh, everybody pretty much leaves the class. They're like, ew, and everybody books it out the door. I'm like, well, that's one way to clear the freaking classroom. The librarian calls in the janitor. The janitor comes. Um, my girlfriend at the time was there. She was trying to comfort me. Here's where it gets fucking gross, because I'm looking, I'm like, oh. <laughs> I'm looking at it, I'm like, I don't remember having carrots for a long time. <laughs> I'm sorry if you guys thought that was disgusting, but I had to include it because it happened. 
I said that, and all I hear is, eh, eh. <laughs> and I'm just like, well, that's fucking true. It carrots over everything. And then the janitor had to come, and I felt so sorry for her, but she had to clean it up. I knew if I have, it would have happened again. It'd be, I'd be wiping it all of a sudden. Bleh! Clean that up. Bleh! Clean that up. Oh, I felt so bad, but it's like I had the flu, and I had to come to school for some stupid reason. And it just got worse throughout the day until this happened. Then I called home. Nobody was home at the time. I think maybe that's why I had to go to school. Nobody was, my parents weren't home. So my grandparents had to come. They had to take me home. I can't remember if I went to their house or my house, but oh my God, it was, it's one of those things where it's like, it's embarrassing, but at the same time where I'm like, I don't remember having care. It's like, that was the funniest thing. And I just remembered this, you know, a couple weeks ago. So I knew I had to do it in a story time video for you guys. I did warn you guys before I started this. So if you guys are like, oh, that's disgusting. It is, but I gave you a warning ahead of time, and I titled it the same thing. Um, oh, fuck. It turned my stomach there even talking about it, but I tried to do it with a straight face and to the point. So, If you guys liked this type of video, please give a thumbs up. If you thought it was completely disgusting, I will understand. Please give it a thumbs down. And if you are not yet subscribed, I know this probably won't get many subscribers this specific video, but please subscribe because I'm going to be doing more videos like this in the future. Sorry, let me rephrase that. I'm not going to be doing more videos like this in the future because I have no other videos that are disgusting like this to talk about in the future. So I will see you guys in the next story time. As I said, this one should be up around the end of April. I'm going to be trying to do it weekly. I did start off the series um, doing it every Tuesday. And then work got a little bit crazy. So now it's still going to be once a week. It's just going to be different days every week. So I will leave this one here. I hope you guys did enjoy. Peace.